what's up guys welcome back to half men half tech my name is ben your host so the fourth point update of ios 15 has introduced a long-awaited feature that allows you to use your face id enabled device like this iphone and be able to unlock your device and it's so good that it just works and not only that but it also works when you are wearing your face mask and glasses this feature would have been really appreciated about two years back if it was just introduced then since that's when people were really being forced to wear masks and it was a highly recommended but now some of those restrictions are being lifted but it's still a recommendation in certain regions and countries for your safety so this feature would definitely help some people out so in terms of the supported device list because that's where the question or the mystery lies they are currently at this time at the time i'm recording this video you can always check the data i post the video there's about eight supported devices of a possible 15 devices that could potentially be supported something that's good and positive about this feature as well is that you can use it for apple pay if you always scan your face id or you require it to do some apple pay services and some various other face id services so you can use it to unlock to pay for things and so on and the way you enable this on a supported device you just go into your settings and then go to face id and passcode and you'll be able to see it that you can use face id with a mask so this at this present time you need an iphone 12 iphone 12 mini iphone 12 pro and iphone 12 pro max that's the iphone 12 series for the iphone 13 you need an iphone 13 iphone 13 mini iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max so those are the eight supported devices at this time but as you might recall face id actually came to the iphone on the iphone x this is an iphone x that you're seeing here and don't mind the under armor case that you're seeing but yeah face id was introduced on the iphone x and it goes all the way to the iphone xs all the way to the iphone 11 pro max so if you have an iphone advice that's somewhere between the iphone x to the iphone 11 pro max you don't get this feature but someone who's using an iphone 12 mini which in my opinion is inferior to the iphone 11 pro max they get to have this feature but you don't so there's two possible reasons that i would like to bring to your attention and explain why you aren't seeing this feature if you fall among the devices that have face id but unsupported and the first reason has to do with the neural engine or the bionic variation. So you might recall that starting from the iPhone 8 and the iPhone X, since they have the same chip essentially, Apple started to introduce a chip set that was sort of bionically variated. So Apple would say A10 or A11 bionic in a certain phone, and it continues all the way to the current latest device that has the latest and highest number in terms of the bionic number so with those bionic chipset variation that apple has they have something that's called the neuro engine and the neuro engine is basically responsible for machine learning and data processing and part of the data that is processed by the neuro engine is responsible well guess what for the face id that is responsible for unlocking your device just using your face id and it seems like this has a big factor to play when it comes to this new feature and also as you might know different neural engines have different transistors so for example if we go back to the iphone xr when apple introduced the iphone xr they basically said that it had 6.9 billion transistors the iphone 11 had 8.5 billion transistors and the iphone 12 has 11 billion transistors and the latest and newest iphone that we have the iphone 13 comprises of 15 billion transistors so it seems like the more transistors that a neural engine has the better it is able to do the machine learning task and process your data 
faster and more securely so you would imagine that you know if you have 15 transistors in the latest iphone then it would make the security of face id and the authentication process more secure and better for the people that are using those latest devices and also something that's worth noticing is that someone my friend here on youtube tech hyped i'll leave his channel down below he noticed that this face id with a mask or face unlock with a mask is limited to devices that have over 10 billion transistors and beyond so it could be a limiting factor where apple just went in and programmed if factor x is equals to or less than 10 billion tx then disable this device so that could be perhaps one of the reasons why these devices aren't supported or don't have this face id unlock feature which was just introduced with ios 15.4 i have a big friend here on youtube who has like uh, over a million subscribers zolotech you might recall his videos if you watch ios mac os watch os or apple related videos he's one of the best so i also reached out to zolotech aaron and just asked him to see you know what he thinks about these devices being left out and he basically said it's probably the neuro engine but it could be added later and just not in the first beta just don't know yet so as you can see his first bet was the neuro engine which could be like a real limiting factor when it comes to why you are not seeing this uh feature on your iphone 11 pro max or 11 pro or all the way back to the iphone x so could be a, a, a reason but again like zolotech mentioned that brings us to our second reason that i would like to explain to you and that is probably uh, something we have seen in the past before so if you recall with the apple watch when they introduced the uh, assistive touch feature that allows you to use your limb and your four fingers just to move your apple watch initially some devices were left out and also the feature of back tap initially some devices were left out but when it came out to the public those features were later added to everyone so at this point in time this ios 15 10.4 is still in its beta stages so apple has probably decided just to push it out to developer beta testers and later to public beta testers since those people are willing to uh, experience the hiccups and the bugs and issues that come with testing a software before it is officially ready and they probably realize that okay we'll push it to the more powerful more capable devices that we have out there and then we'll see how it goes and if the transition goes smooth perhaps this is a feature that could be coming to some of the devices that aren't supported so some of those devices that have been left out are like the iphone x xs xs max iphone xr iphone 11 iphone 11 pro iphone 11 pro max so those are the seven devices that we could potentially see added but also like what apple has done in the past just because they have the software or hardware that is required to support this feature doesn't mean that all of them are going to be added so if apple is to go back and try and add some of these devices they could potentially start adding them like from the iphone 11 and beyond when this ios 15.4 is released to the general public so just because you have an iphone x like this one and it has the infrastructure that supports this face id feature it doesn't mean that you are going to get it and also someone here on instagram i i use instagram quite a lot apple design actually mentioned something that's uh, interesting he mentioned simply put according to apple design on ig it has to do with the accuracy of face id so mask id scans your eyes and apparently this isn't that good on other iphones with face id so initially 
the other face id devices use the depth sense to scan like the depth or between your nose and this area of your skin but the more uh the chipsets or the face id chips and the neuro engine and machine learning improved they also took into account the eyes so those are some of the reasons why perhaps your device isn't supported with this new face unlock uh, feature with a face mask so that's just some of the reasons that i thought i should bring to attention i really hope that when ios 15.4 comes out officially this is a feature that more people will get to experience it might not be all devices that aren't supported so iphone x iphone xr iphone xs probably those devices won't be supported but when it comes out officially something like the iphone 11 should be added so other than that that's about it for me if you have a face id enabled and supported device like the iphone 12 and beyond you can probably just put on your specs and on top of that put on your face mask and use apple pay and your face id i have something that's interesting that i would like to leave with you though you know how the iphone 12 mini is supported but the iphone 11 pro max is not supported what do you think about that which which of the two devices would you buy do you buy a more powerful or pro device or do you buy a mini device with a newer chip i will leave that up to you other than that guys stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace